now we're going to demonstrate how to start a um, Facebook page for a company. This might be common knowledge for some of you. If that's the case, that's great. But I found after teaching this class for several years that a lot of you have never created um, a brand account on social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Twitter. I'm going to use Facebook because it is still uh, the most common platform used. Um, and if you are starting a brand or if you already have a brand, it would make a lot of sense for you to operate on Facebook. So we're going to go through the steps. Um, and again, this is going to be part of your assignment for this week. So please follow along. And then when you're uh, done watching this video, you can create one of your own. So Facebook has made it really easy for you when you're logged on to hit the create button here. So we hit create. You click on a page. That's what we're going to create for customers or fans. And you can choose what type of a page you want to get started on. They give you two choices, a brand or a business over here, or a community or public figure. Say you're a politician or a celebrity or a rapper or an athlete or something like that. Um, we're going to continue along with my uh, Nino Cafe brand, though, and that would be a business. So let's click Get Started. We're going to name the page Nino Cafe. We're going to choose a category. Type in a, a, a page, a, a word or two. So I'm going to say wine bar. There we go. Since it's a location, it's going to ask for the address. Um, I'm going to type in my P.O. box here. This is in Ventura, California. They don't need my phone number right now. You can choose to not show your address if you don't want it. However, if you're opening a retail location, like a place where you sell clothes, like an Urban Outfitters or something like that, or a restaurant, you will certainly want to include your address so your audience can find you. Click Continue. So now it's going to direct us through on the visuals. We're going to add a profile picture and a cover photo. So I'm going to click on upload a profile picture. Go to that graphic for Cafe Nino that I had done before. That should fit in here, but let's see. And then it's going to guide me through uploading a cover photo. When you guys do this, you're going to need to do this for your assignment. So I'm going to choose them both that we had previously already created. Let's see what happens. And there we go. I am officially live. Now, there's a number of other things that we can do here. If you click on see more, you can see what's available. And there's a number of ways where we can uh, edit content on here. For example, on the about, I can go to about. And I can edit the page info directly from here. So I can say something like, Nino Cafe is Ventura's premier wine bar destination serving, mm, I said premium already, serving um, local favorites since 1999 or something like that. I made this up. Save changes. I can add the phone number here. I can add a website. Say it's www.ninocafe.com. Ninocafe.com. That doesn't even exist, just so you all know. I can have an email address here that's shown, which again, I rec uh, recommend doing. If you have a location that has Wi-Fi that's free to your customers, you can add that information here as well. And so on and so on. Is there street parking? How do you get there for public transit? This is another great thing that you should do um, is open on selected hours. Tell your folks, tell your, your customers what days you're open. So just for fun, let's just choose these all. This is obviously not the hours that a wine bar would operate, but let's say it's Sunday through Monday or Monday through Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Those are banker hours. Save changes there and more and so on. What's your price range? Is it expensive? Is it cheap? What types of products do you offer? Wine, salads, pizza, 
etc. Company overview, founded, award, services. The more information that you can type in here, the better for a couple of reasons. Number one is uh, it allows your customers who are checking you out online know more about your brand without needing to ask questions and similarly this also helps with Facebook's algorithm to get your uh, brand in front of the ideal people for you as well so when you start doing serves uh, breakfast lunch dinner coffee drinks if you choose these and somebody is on Facebook using it as, as a search engine and says looking for dinner places there's a better chance that your restaurant might pop up so come back up here and click save changes and now we are done close this and you should be able to see the changes that we made here if I hit refresh here's my hours here's about and so on another important thing is you might want to um, do your uh, vanity username so uh, up at the top right now, you can't really see it, but it says Facebook.com. The URL for the website is Facebook.com slash PG slash Nino dash cafe dash 104233379 hyphen about hyphen question mark and so on. If you're a marketer like I am, you're going to want to control that brand experience. So that's where you do this. Click on create page and username. So this is where I would say Nino cafe hopefully it's not taken unfortunately isn't available so i can do ventura i'm guessing that that won't be so now i will be at nino cafe ventura create username and now my um website for facebook exists at facebook.com slash nino cafe ventura which is much better than the alternative that i shared before so we're going to come back up to the home page here and I'm going to do a first post. And for my, oh, and then there's other settings that you can use here. It's going to invite you to invite your friends to join. It's going to Ask if you want to turn on instant replies in case somebody uses Messenger to contact your business, turn on an away message, and so on. But for right now, I'm just going to write a post. Um, I haven't really created anything, so let's do that real, fa real fast on Canva. Um, I'm going to do, again, I'm going to go on social media, and I'm just going to find a Facebook post. Facebook post look for something that has some food on it not sushi other food burger and fries that sounds good too I know I'm not really a burger and fries type of restaurant but um, whatever it's fine we will now take the logo so I can upload and put from my uploads this Cafe Nino and put that right there. The problem is that I get this white background, which I don't particularly care for. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the original file where I designed it, and I'm going to copy that and come back over here and paste it over here. So now you can see that like that. Maybe I'm going to actually move it where you can see it a little bit better. Actually, that's not a bad spot. Right over the burger. Fine. It doesn't really matter. Download it. Okay, and then coming over here on the Facebook, I'm going to say something. It really doesn't matter, but I want you all to get experience with this. Um, Nino Cafe uh, has a new burger and fries happy hour special Monday through Friday from 4 to 7 p.m. Get here before it's gone upload my photo publish
and there it is. So now we exist online. I encourage you to come up here through the settings and look at all of the other options that you have. You have visibility controls, visitor post controls, messaging. You have over here in the left column page admins, page info. What other apps do you want to connect here? Do you want to connect an Instagram account and so on and so on? There's a ton that you can do. I encourage you to go through all of that. Um, but for right now, all I need from you for the final uh, for the assignment for this week will be to create a page, upload uh, a profile pic, which is your logo, a cover photo here, adjust your bio and your about us section, change your vanity URL, your username, because you're going to need to submit that as part of your grade, and then do your first post, which would be this. So that's all for now. Again, if there's any questions about this, please feel free to reach out. Just like everything else with social media, it's pretty straightforward. It's not rocket science. It's not hard. You just need to get in there and try it and do it. So signing off, good luck on your assignment, which I will be uh, posting more information about in a moment.